Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mole. We are playing a little bit of Boom Beach today. We haven't played in a little while. Well, I've, I've played, I just haven't posted a video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I haven't posted a video in a while, okay? <laughs> but we are playing some Boom Beach today. We've done a lot. As you can see, all of our landing crafts are level 8 except for one. This one right here. Poor little guy. He's left out. I know, it's sad, okay? But I need to, in order to upgrade that, I need to go and get... Uh... 20,000 more wood. So let's see if we can do that. As you guys can see, I have a new base from the last one. That's right. We got our headquarters right in the middle. It is headquarters nine. We've gotten a whole bunch of stuff. We got, oh, shoot, my flamethrower is done over here. I totally forgot about that. Where should we put the flamethrower? Uh, let's move this iron storage right over here. Here. No. All right. So we're going to take the flamethrower. Put the iron storage right over here. Skew this little guy over. Bring that machine gun over. Skew that gold storage over. Skew that gold storage over. This little guy's going to go right here. And we're going to bring the flamethrower right in here. You want to make sure whenever you're doing your base that things aren't touching because if I did this and like had this right here, then somebody could hit all three of those things with, uh, with an artillery shell. So... You gotta make sure that you don't do that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there we go with that. Flamethrower is in there and ready to go. We'll scoot him back a little bit. The flamethrowers do serious work. Um, but, I mean, people can always... Uh, lightning spell, whatever. I don't know what the freak is called in here. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Come on. Uh, upgrade. What are they called? A shock bomb. I gotta learn all this terminology, guys. Alright, but anyways, why don't we go ahead... Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you all one thing on here. So this base did really well. Look at that. That's five defensive wins. Um, and a cool thing about it is that four of those were by the same guy. So he tried really hard, and he just couldn't figure it out. He couldn't figure out how to beat it. Um, and then uh, level 21 attacked it as well. Um, it lost right here, though. We can actually view the battle. Man, they took a lot of my gold. Let's go ahead and view this and see what happened and see how we can learn from it. Um, he's also really, really well upgraded uh, with all the the heavies and the, the Zookas. The heavy Zooka is a really, really popular strategy. The Zookas just take so much freaking damage. It's ridiculous. So you really have to have, as you can see, this guy has, uh, is not, he has nine Zookas in the front just making a wall going through here. Um, and they're doing perfectly fine. There's like They're taking no damage whatsoever. And again, that's because of the level that they are uh, since they're super upgraded. So that's one strategy that you can do. Um, it's kind of just like giants and or, or like golems and wizards or something like that in Clash of Clans. So um, that's what this guy's doing right here. Um, he's healing up his healing up all of his uh, his heavies and his zukas. I don't think he's even lost one zuka yet, but they're already working on the headquarters right there. It's going to be down in a couple of seconds. We'll just go ahead and fast forward through that. So um, there's really no way to defend against that. Uh, it's just because he's a high level and his heavies and his zukos were really, really well upgraded. So, you know, we can't really do too much about that, but we're running with a whole bunch of warriors right now. Let's go ahead and collect these gems. Give me those gems. And, uh, diamonds. I'm sorry. They aren't gems. So you want to know what's weird? I beat the hammer man, uh, level, uh, 25, but the 21 is, is giving me trouble. So I'm not even going to mess with it. Um, Let's go check out this guy's resource base, scout this out, see if we think we can take it. I think this might have been mine before. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it definitely was. But I really want to see if we can get ourselves 20,000 uh, 20, wood. Because if we get 20,000 wood, then we will be able to upgrade our... Let's find some new opponents. We'll be able to upgrade our other um, landing craft. So, yeah. Let's see what... No, I didn't mean to press attack. Dang it. <laughs> now I just wasted gold. Oh, he has like no resources whatsoever. That's pretty bad. Let's check out these other guys. Let's go scout them out. Um, ooh. This one might not be too bad, actually. Um, eh, I don't know. I think I'm just going to go attack some of these, as always. <laughs> the easier ones. Um, 
because look, that I mean that has a pretty good amount of of loot on it right there. So why don't we go ahead and attack this thing? I bet we can get through it without losing any troops too. Um, we can take out these guys with two each, I believe. One, two, yep. One, two. There we go. And we can just drop all of our warriors down. And the cool thing about warriors that I love so much is how they just heal themselves up. Like, it's so freaking awesome that um, they'll take damage, but then they'll just heal themselves up. No issue whatsoever. Hey, no, come over here, buddy. Where are you going? Get over here. And heal spell and shock bomb dang it i shocked some of my guys if you lay the shock down before <laughs> lay the shock down if you lay the shock down before the uh before the warriors get to um the defense then you're fine but if you lay it down after or if you lay down on top of them then they get shocked as well which is kind of cool because it really makes your strategy have to be a lot more focused um and you have to pay attention to what you're doing so you don't mess up like i just did um i think we might have lost uh, a troop or so did we lose too many? All right, so we lost one. That's fine. No big deal. <clears throat> we can go ahead and go back and just train him up while we're waiting and come back out here and see what else we can find. Um, I want to try and get rid of as many of these as possible. I just looked at the, the clock real quick right there. Um, so why don't we go ahead and what do we want to do on this one? We can just attack this one, and I think we should be able to shock all of them. Uh, shock them into submission. So we're going to shock right here in the middle before... Oh, no. All right, good. So that other one is messed up. Um, shock that again. There we go. And then we are going to have them all come right over here. There we go. We're going to heal them up. And then, honestly, we can probably just take this thing out with a couple of artillery shells. Yeah, there we go. Um, all right, boys. Let's head over here. Shock all these things. One, both of those are shocked. And then we're going to head right here. Shock this one as well, just because we have it. <laughs> and then we will go and take out the headquarters. We might have lost one on that as well. I'm not too sure. Um, I didn't pay attention to how many I had in the bottom left. I guess it's, what, 18 or something? Uh, come on. Yep, yeah, so we had a casualty. We had three casualties on that one. Oh, no. <laughs> It's probably from that, that bigger gun. Um, so we can come back in here. Let me click on it. There we go. Reinforce those, and we're just going to keep going. I always do this because with these lower level ones, um, it's not you can you don't have to attack with a full army. You can just let your other troops uh, train up, just like what happened right there. Um, let's go ahead and... Ugh, this one looks annoying. I don't want to deal with that one, even though it is just a level 18. Let's just take out these lower level ones, um, and we should be good. There's a lot of flamethrowers on this. I don't know how many artillery shells it takes to take out a flamethrower, so why don't we see? One, two. Yep, all right, so two artillery shells will take out a flamethrower. Good to know. So we'll take out both of those guys, and then why don't we just go ahead and come all the, all the way back here. Come on. No, don't go over there. Now you're going to walk through the bombs and you're going to get hurt. Good job. All right, so we're going to... I don't want to deal with any of uh, this sniper tower right here. Let's bring him back here, have him get some extra um, points for us. That one sniper tower on the other side is shooting at him. We can go ahead and just heal these guys up because <clears throat> they will be perfectly fine with that mortar hitting them and with them healing up themselves. Uh, so they'll just take it out really, really quickly like that. Um, it's really fun figuring out how to how to move your way around the base um, in order to ignore uh, the defenses. So why don't we go back here and see? All right, so we got 30 seconds left on this one boat down here. Three minutes on that other one. Let's go look through some of these actual people's bases um, and see what we can do. We're gonna let's find some new opponents. Um, all these guys have been up for a while. And uh, I haven't attacked them. So let's find a couple new opponents. Maybe we can find some lower level ones that don't know what the freak they're doing. Let's check this guy out. <coughs> Schwing. Um, his base isn't too bad. He has an okay amount of loot. I'm also looking for loot, obviously, when it comes to these. But we're really looking for a town hall that would be easy to get to and easy to, uh, to take out. So um, 
that one isn't that bad. We might come back to that one. Let's go check out some of these other ones. Uh, let's check out this guy, Desert Rat. Honestly, we could probably come up behind this one uh, and take it out. Why don't we... How much loot does he have? He has an okay amount. Why don't we attack this guy? Um, I am going to take out <coughs> his cannon over here. Uh, I should be able to do it with two, hopefully. Come on. Yes. All right, so I was able to do it with two. So we're going to drop off all of our warriors over here, and we are going to bring them all back here. Everybody run back. People are liking my stuff on Instagram. Molt underscore COC if you want to follow me, guys. All right, and then come back here. There we go. And we're just going to bring them all the way over here. Go ahead, Mortar. Do what you want. And then let's go ahead and shock these guys um, <clears throat> as we start attacking. And we'll bring them over to the Mortar right here. And then we'll shock them again. Right there. Good, good, good. Come back over here. I don't want them to go. No, I don't want them to go too far into the base. Um, and then we can go ahead and probably heal these guys up for the rest of this. Um, use another heal spell as well, right on top of that. And that should keep them up for the majority of the attack. There we go. So if you can find bases like that where you can work your way around the side, definitely do it. That guy's base was too deep, and he didn't think that anyone would go around it. Um, so that was a great victory on that one. Let's see how many people we lost. I don't think we lost too many. So we only lost two, and we didn't even have a full army uh, or a full boat in the first place. So, uh, oh, I can upgrade my quarry as well. But I don't want to upgrade my quarry. What I want to upgrade is my last landing craft. Let's go ahead and... Uh, why did I do that? <laughs> Noob. All right, I'm just going to finish those for a diamond. Um, and then let's go ahead and... Why are you not letting me click on you? There we go. We're going to upgrade that last one to level 8, which is going to be great. I didn't mean to ram, I promise. <laughs> so that's level, that one's going to be level 8 in 4 hours. Um, why don't we go out and do one more attack and see if we can... Let's check out Wes right here, see if he's got a base we can sneak around to the back on. Um, it looks like he does, actually. Have a base that we can sneak around to the back on. So let's see if we can do this. As well, this one might be a little bit harder. Again, I don't think I have a full, um, I don't have full boats right now. Please tell me this will take it out in two. All right, crap. So he has a little bit higher level um, of the troops when it comes down to it. So we're gonna work our way around the right side on this one. As you can see, the left side doesn't have as many buildings, so we can work our way around the right side over here, um, and we can go ahead and shockwave all three of these things um, and have our come back here, guys. No, all of you come back here. There we go. Everybody come back there. Good job. All right, so we will shock them again. Um, and then we're just going to keep on working our way around, building up everything. And then now we're just going to head straight back here. And we can shock all three of those things one more time just to help protect our guys. They're going to come back there. Those machine guns are probably going to do a lot of work. Actually, they definitely are going to do a lot of work. I didn't even think about that. Um, so let's bring them right in here. Come on. Come on in. There we go. And we can heal them up. And let's see if we can just take this thing out with a heal spell on them as they heal themselves up. This is going to be really, really close. But I do think we're going to get it, and we are. There we go. So, guys, this is a really good example of how the all-warrior strategy works. You just kind of work your way around. You build up your your tokens over here. Nice. Iron will, whatever that means. <laughs> you build up your tokens so that you can um, take everything out. How many did we lose on that? So we lost six. It looks like y'all's... The freaking recording just froze on y'all's screen and on my phone. Um... Come on, there we go. So we lost six troops on that one, um, but that was a really good attack. We have a whole bunch of gold now. We need, we really need to upgrade our radar, but we need a lot of wood um, and a lot of stone. Um, I need to, what are we getting from this? Yeah, whatever. Seize. Oh, I was about to say, I haven't seized a million iron. Um, wow, we're going on 14 minutes on this, guys. This is a long episode. Uh, leave a like down below if you've enjoyed, uh, if you've enjoyed Boom Beach, if you've enjoyed how long this episode is, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. You guys are great. Uh, that's going to be it for this, though. We have a good amount of resources right now. i got to go clear out some wood. Um, I can't clear out anything on my base right now, which is a little bit annoying. Um, we got to upgrade our headquarters, uh, and we can do that eventually. I'm going to have to upgrade my iron storage right here, which is full currently. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Y'all rock. I hope that y'all have a great weekend. 
Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. And hey, as always, guys, make sure you keep calm and boom on for me, all right? See ya.